Good morning, Mount Calvary children. Boy, do I miss you guys, and I hope I get to see you really soon. But we're posting a church service for the adults. Well, it's for everybody, but eh, I think it's going to be mostly the adults watching it on Facebook. And I thought you guys deserve to have a separate children's time because I really enjoy getting to talk to you guys every Sunday. But I want to talk to you about something because, you know, it's been raining a lot outside. And I don't know about you, but rain sometimes can remind me of teardrops. And I'll be honest, there's a lot of stuff that I can cry about. Do you guys ever cry? I wonder if you've ever cried when you've fallen down and hurt yourself. Raise your hand if you have. I have. I was trying to learn how to rollerblade for a while, and I skinned my knees up a whole lot trying to learn how to do that. And I definitely cried. Raise your hand if you cried because someone you know got hurt. Yeah, that can make me cry too. Raise your hand if you've ever cried because somebody else was crying. I'm the kind of person that I'll cry if I see somebody else crying. When Miss Amanda likes to watch some of her uh, romantic movies and there's somebody crying in it, odds are I'm going to be the one who's crying, not her. It's kind of sad in some ways. <laughs> I'll admit it, I was about ready to cry earlier today because I already filmed this video for you with a really nice camera and then I accidentally deleted it. <laughs> and so now I'm on my phone. But you want to know something? You want to know who else cried? Even Jesus cried. In fact, in the Bible, we read that there are three things that seem to make Jesus cry. In one case, we read that Jesus was here on earth and he offered up prayers and pleadings with a loud cry for others. The Bible also tells us that Jesus cried when he saw how poorly people were treating his father's house, the temple. But the most famous time that Jesus cried was when he went to visit his friends, Mary and Martha, because he had heard that their brother Lazarus was very sick. But by the time Jesus arrived, Lazarus had died. Mary and Martha, they had hoped Jesus would come sooner because they knew Jesus could perform miracles and maybe help Lazarus to live. But by the time Jesus got there, he had already been in his grave for four days. The Bible tells us that as Jesus saw Mary and Martha cry, that Jesus wept. But that wasn't the end of Jesus' story. Because Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus, and in an amazing moment, he told folks to roll away the stone in front of the tomb and Lazarus, and told Lazarus to get out. And amazingly, Lazarus got up and he walked out of the tomb. He was back alive again. And soon Mary and Martha, they weren't crying tears of sadness, they were crying tears of joy. I think it's nice to know that even our Savior cried at one point. But I think it's even more nice to know that when tears are flowing, that God has a plan to help us all feel better. I hope you guys know that when we're in a little bit of a strange situation these days, God has a plan and he's going to make everything better because he loves you so, so much. So why don't we say our prayer, okay? God, I love you, and I know you love me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome day today. And you can see over my shoulder two of my fr friends from VeggieTales, Bob the Tomato and Larry the Cucumber. And they end all of their episodes with the same phrase that I'm going to end our time here today with. God made you special and he loves you very much. Have a great day, kids. And eh, go ask your mommy and daddies for a lollipop. Bye.